The Rig Rat. How to Survive Performing Outside on a Sunny Day. This installment of The Rig Rat was recorded in March 2020. This is my take as a singer who plays keyboard and guitar, among other instruments, on what to expect and prepare for. An announcement of your performance may go something like this. Hey gang, I'm performing outside at such and such today. Weather permitting, those two words. Weather permitting permitting. When you are scheduled to perform outside with only sun in the forecast, well, here are some things to consider for sunny weather conditions. Sun can get in your eyes or in the way of you reading your lyrics or chords from a laptop or a notebook. Regret remedy? Memorize the songs. Me? I bring a laptop. They say sun is not good for your skin. Regret remedy? Sunscreen is an option. Me? I always forget. Plus, I'm a sweaty guy and putting it on, I, I don't know, I sweat it right off. I also recommend bringing a canopy. It can give shade to your skin from the sun or help your eyes see a laptop or tablet or notebook or even the display of your keyboard. Board. But a canopy shade will move as the day goes on. You may be under a canopy, but find yourself stuck in the sun later. Sometimes, on a sunny day, someone wants a picture with you, and you can see they are not using the sun as a light source. They are framing the shot with the sun glaring at the lens. I don't see anything wrong with asking them to use the sun as a light source. Now let's talk about insects. They fly, they crawl, they land and they sting. Ants crawling all over your equipment. As you play, you see ants crawling in and out of your keyboard keys. A bee or a wasp could buzz in your ear. A spider, a tiny fly, a big fly could tickle your face and land in your hair. Bugs, especially attracted by lights, travel into your mouth as you sing. Regret remedy? Bring bug, mosquito, or ant spray. But I wouldn't spray it on your instrument. Let's talk about heat. Sweat trickling down your forehead, tickling your face, two hands occupied playing your instrument, keyboard or guitar. You can't wipe the sweat that's driving you nuts! Well, regret remedy? Use a sweatband. Cool rockers do. Heat affects some keyboards. I had a Hammond organ that would shut down in direct sunlight. Powered PA speakers and TV monitors can shut down from hot direct sunlight as well. I try not to let the keyboard or guitar sit in a hot car. You know that's not good for it. Always remember to hydrate. If you don't, you could feel weak, dizzy, and really tired. It's happened to me because I wasn't drinking enough water. Let's talk about outdoor noise. Things uh, to expect are a loud exhaust from a motorcycle or car, a loud radio from a motorcycle or car, a car alarm, a loud plane overhead, a crying child or little kids walking by with their hands over their ears. Maybe you are too loud. Depending on the time at night, lots of cities have cut-off times for outdoor entertainment noise. Remember playing in a band in a garage and the cops would show up because a neighbor complained? It happened to me last year. If you play at an open-air market where people are trying to conduct business like a farmer's market, you gotta keep the volume down. I played 13 years, seven days a week at a restaurant chain indoors where I had to keep the volume low. I was grateful for the employment. If it's a private party or any event outside, it's good to ask what surface the musician or musicians are supposed to set up their equipment on. In the past, I've gotten to a gig where they point to a grassy area. Many times I'll say, nah, I'll set up on the cement of the driveway. Then if you can sneak under the roof of the garage, you know, that's the best. Some party hosts will buy a bunch of thick plywood sheets, which is okay with me, then put it on the grass. Very cool. In the past, I've had my pay docked because my truck tires supposedly damaged a lawn. Always bring a cart or wagon to transport your stuff. You never know where you gotta park.
Wonderful things about performing in the sun are the money, the sights, the sounds, getting a tan, the chance to use that fog machine, letting those tattoos show if you have them, wearing those cool clothes you got, or wearing an awesome hat to protect yourself from the sun. Some say shades disconnect you from the audience who crave to see your eyes. It's up to you. That's it. Thanks for checking out this installment of The Rig Rat.